What's up, everybody? This is Chris Jolly, a.k.a. The Freight Coach, and I'm coming to you with another Weather the Storm Wednesday. You know, normally I would have like a certain situation to talk about, but I feel like this is an extremely relevant subject that needs to be discussed right now. I'm going to call this double brokering season. When rates go up as high as they have in as short of a time as they have, there are people out there who are trying to take advantage of the situation. They're going to take freight from you and everybody else for seven, $8,000 on a lane. And then they're going to give it to their buddy or somebody else who they're working with and double broker it out and only pay them five or $6,000. So they're going to go around to everybody, rack up a couple hundred thousand dollars in freight charges, get paid by you brokers and then not pay the carriers who actually hold the freight. So you need to start identifying these, these things. You need to have these conversations with drivers immediately, making sure they're in contact, that they are a driver of the said company that you're brokering this load out to, because you don't want to be on the receiving end of this. You don't want in 30 days from now, when they can't get a hold of the person that you brokered the freight out to, calling you because they have your information, because it looks like you didn't pay them when you paid the carrier that you brokered it to. Um, and then if they don't get an answer from you, they're going to call your customer. They're going to call the shipper. It's going to escalate extremely fast and you are not going to look good in this situation. So any internal training you may have on this, review it right away because you do not want to be on the receiving end of this where you're going to end up paying. You already paid the original carrier that you brokered it out, or brokered it out to $7,000 and then you're going to be on the hook to pay the carrier they brokered it out to for that amount. So all of a sudden you're gonna take a six, $7,000 loss because you didn't take six to seven seconds at the beginning to verify all the information to ensure the carrier that you were brokering it out to are, is the one that is going to be picking it up and delivering it and it's all under the same roof. I hope you guys found this information useful. If you did, please hit that like button down below and share this with somebody who might need to see this today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Ha, ha, ha.